What's up guys? Welcome back to Rack of Lamb. If you're new to my channel, my name is Maggie, a full-time busy working mother who has always got her hands full. And with another child coming my way, I've been trying to whip up meals that save me time and energy. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you three sandwiches that I make on busy work days using canned fish. And if you're thinking, what the canned fish? Well, the fishes that I'll be using actually contain high levels of protein and omega-3s, which makes them great options for lunch or dinner. Plus, you can always substitute the canned fish with fresh fish. So let's cut to the chase and make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. The first sandwich requires canned tuna. I'll be using light tuna because they harbor less mercury than albacore and big eye. We're going to start by opening two 5 ounce cans of chunk light tuna. And feel free to use a larger can or a pack of tuna if that's what you were able to land your hands on. Now drain all the water out of the cans, then set the tuna aside. Next, we're going to dice a stalk of celery. Then transfer the tuna into a medium-sized mixing bowl. Along with about 1 teaspoon of lemon juice. The diced celery. Half a cup of mayo. A quarter teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper or to taste. Now combine all the ingredients until well blended. And feel free to eliminate the bread and eat this as is. It's basically a tuna salad. Just make sure you give it a taste and adjust the ingredients according to your own preferences. On the other hand, if you can't resist carbs like me, toast up a few slices of bread. Top off one slice with half the tuna salad. Then sandwich it between a second slice. Optionally, you may consider making it a tuna melt just by melting some cheese between the sandwich. Cut your sandwich in half and here's your quick and easy classic tuna sandwich. The second sandwich involves using canned salmon, which is high in protein, vitamin D, omega-3 fats, and believe it or not, calcium, because a can also contains something we typically spit out, bones. Likewise, begin by draining out the liquid from a 14 and 3 quarter ounce can of pink salmon. Do not, and I repeat, do not discard this liquid. We're gonna dice half a small onion, then combine it with the salmon after it's been crushed. Not sure if you see the bones in here, but while they may be off-putting to some people, I actually like them. Unlike bones from fresh fish, they don't pose as a choking hazard and in fact are soft to chew. Along with the diced onion, we're going to add half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs, one large egg, and four to five tablespoons of the liquid from the canned salmon. Mix the ingredients up until well incorporated and add more liquid from the can a tablespoon at a time if you feel that the mixture is too dry. Now we're ready to form the mixture into salmon patties. I was able to yield 6 patties from this 14.75 ounce can. But if you prefer salmon patties thicker, then I say make 5 patties out of the entire mixture. To form the patties, simply place a few spoonfuls of the mixture onto your palm. Mold them into balls, then flatten them into patties. And here I'm going to make a reference to the classic Tootsie Pop commercial. A one. A two. A three. And a four. Five. And six. Six. 
At last, we're going to heat a tablespoon of cooking oil on a nonstick pan, swirling to coat evenly. Then we're going to transfer the salmon patties onto the pan and sear each side until golden brown. I'll be cooking only three patties for my family of three and refrigerating the remainder for the next day. More the reason for me to create six patties out of the can, because it yields exactly two meals for my family. These patties are turning out so lovely, not to mention they're pretty versatile. Eat them as is with your sauce of choice paired with a refreshing salad, or make salmon burgers out of them like I usually do. At the time of this video, I didn't have any fancy ingredients in my fridge, so I toasted up some burger buns, topped them off with the patties, added some mayo, and some fresh arugula for Steve and myself. And here are your healthy salmon burgers. The third sandwich requires canned sardines. I'm using these wild caught ones in olive oil, which I picked up from Costco. You'll also need hot dog buns, sriracha, QP mayo, cilantro, and pickled daikon and carrots, which you'll find the recipe for on my channel and rackoflamb.com. We're going to begin by lightly toasting the hot dog buns. These were the only bread I had in my pantry, so if you have something better, i.e. a French baguette, please use that instead. Well, forgot to mention that you'll also need pâté if you're up for it. This isn't my go-to brand, but we'll make do for now. To put the next sandwich together, smear a generous spread of pâté onto the lightly toasted bread. Now open up your canned sardines, which are, by the way, high in protein and omega-3s, low in mercury, and rich in calcium and vitamins B12 and D. One of these 4.3 ounce cans of sardines can usually make me two sandwiches, so I'm going to split the serving into two. Do you have any idea what type of sandwich I'm going for yet? Maybe the next few ingredients will help you out. On the untouched side of the hot dog bun, I am going to squeeze some QP mayo and some sriracha. Smear it up to combine these two into sriracha mayo. Now add some pickled carrots and daikon into your filling. What's shown here are homemade and I simply removed them from the fridge and added the pickling jar. Finally, top your sandwich off with some cilantro and mint. And now I present to you my shortcut version of sardine bang mi or Vietnamese sandwich. I hope these canned fish sandwich ideas can be assist to you busy people. And if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.